New shocks. Who this? Her jack's still working. So I bought these shocks. Actually, these shocks were kind of hard to find over here. And they got the part number and everything. But I ordered these for Fleet Pride. It's Peterbilt one at $96 a pair for these stupid things. I'm sorry, a piece, not a pair. And then you guys saw that. Um, AC idler pulley. <coughs> I went bad. We got that from Fleet Pride. And then we got a belt from Fleet Pride. Um, for these two shocks, the belt and um, the idler, Peterbilt, which is a cheaper dealer up here, wanted 300, no, what was it? No, excuse me, $422 for the pull, for the, for the idler, for the belt, the AC belt, which is a rinky dinky belt. It's not the big belt. And these two shocks. We paid $192 or $194 at Fleet. $192 at Fleet Pride today. Don't go to Steeler Ships. I mean, unless you absolutely have to. It's just highway robbery. <laughs> All right, so these cab shocks, they don't come compressed and they extend themselves out. So I had to improvise, I had to put some zip ties around it because the problem is, is you can't really get any leverage in there to put a pry bar underneath it. I got it to go in there, but uh, I can't get any leverage to get a pry bar underneath it. So what we're gonna do is cut those off once we get that shock in there. Because the problem is I can't get the bottom bolt on because like I said, there's no leverage. You can't really put a pry bar underneath there and try to leverage it up because those sharks are pretty stiff. So, just gonna have to sacrifice a couple zip ties. But that's all right. Looks like they sent us a defective shock. It won't even compress. And it's dented. So it's all bad out of the box. Luckily, got this at Fleet Pride. I just called them. They're going to have another one. Today is Friday, so unfortunately we won't see one until after the weekend. But if this was Packard, I'd have to file a warranty claim. They wouldn't just exchange it. I'd just bring this guy back and they're just going to give me another one. But they had to order it from Chicago because they don't have any here. We got the one on. Looks good. So, kind of sucks. But, hey, it is what it is. At least they're going to get me another one. No questions asked. So, all right. The gang's all back together. Oh, look at that big old fender gap. We can close that. So, what people do, they take these posts off the frame, and this is a flex air, so they will use this. Fortunately for me, it's a rivet. So, I can either cut it, or I could do like an Alice stroke I did. I use lower mounting hole which i could use that and i think that's what i'm gonna do and then i might order some fenders like i ordered her and that's actually gonna sit pretty good and close i'm also going to remove this toolbox it's ugly and i don't need it and it's in my way i store chains in there 
but I don't need them anymore. So that's going away. Also, what else is going away? I'm going to take this hard bumper off. It's costing a lot of fuel. These things, when I put this on, uh, I bet we lost a good, oh, I don't know, almost mile per gallon. Plus it's ugly. So that's coming off. But I think what we're gonna start doing first is we're going to take this toolbox off. That's the problem with this. Can't even get underneath the truck. It's all in the way. And it just, it looks ugly. And we're going for the long look, you know, because we want to look the part. So moving that back, it's going to look more like Alice's, which looks like this. So much room for activities. So the first order of business. We got to load that guy. That's the dumbest idea I've ever. Whoever put these back in here, tangle them all to high hell. But this is just a dumb, dumb, dumb idea to begin with for chain storage, because it is almost damn near impossible to get them out of there. You know, especially after, like you don't use them for all season, then you go to put them, you put them in there and then you want to pull them back out. Yeah, good luck. These boxes are pretty light. Oh man, I gotta work the old fashioned way. Both my batteries are dead. And my wrist be hurting, like always. But hey, get our done, right? Sometimes you gotta persuade a little bit finally got it to go man what a pain next on the agenda is we got to take them lights off open this bumper up and uh i'm gonna start removing it in the meantime i'm charging my uh drill but because I, well, drove my batteries for my impact, but we can work on this in the meantime, because I don't have um, another battery, and I need it for the fenders and the posts, because I'm not going to be killing myself. Work harder, not smarter. Wait, that's not how that goes. So this truck has the adaptive cruise. There's the radar. So you gotta take that guy off this bracket. We can take all these brackets off and hang our old bumper.
Huh. Well, now I know why my X-15 was whistling. Look at that. There's another one. That's loose. What in tarnation? I'm pretty sure I torqued those. I think they just got loose. I got a little ahead of myself. So we undid that guy. And now we're putting it here. Problem is, this really, really long bolt. <laughs> really not long enough. So I'm going to run into the hardware store and see if I can find something. And if not, then it barely reaches, but it's not enough. So, yeah. Or we can cut this one off and then get a bolt over here. But the problem with it is, is I don't think that's going to come out because it's underneath there. So I don't think we're going to be able to get that guy out is the problem. We'll give it a shot. New plan. We're not going to buy new bolts. We're going to buy new posts. The reason being is, as you can see, see how deep that um, flange deal is there? That's about, oh, I don't know, inch and a half which allows that to basically not sit all the way down in it, it, it'll sit about right there so the bolt needs to go in a little bit further and then we'll be able to grab our mount the problem with it is like i said it doesn't go far enough the bolt because it bottoms out about right there so if we can get it to go all the way down with different posts then we'll be in business so what we're going to do is we order new posts. And the beauty of living here in good old Wisconsin is Amazon will deliver tomorrow. So that's gonna be perfect. And our new fender is gonna be sitting right there over them tires. So what's cool about that is we're gonna have all this more room for our activities. It's gonna look like a large car. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove the other bolts on the other side. We're gonna put our decorative frame bolt right here that came off with these posts and uh take that other side off and be ready for tomorrow and then we can just zip them up real quick it'd be awesome so we got our post and then we're gonna have to cut that down well i mean we cut our post down is what i'm trying to say i'm just gonna but our fenders are gonna have to get so that'll work we have the clearance but obviously they're too long so we're gonna have to measure this guy down as you can see and uh, we're gonna have to take some out of it but here's my sweet ass stanley tape measure okay so we need to be about 24 and a half inches about right there where the mount needs to be so we got to cut down or just mark it. Well, we're gonna take off basically, well, not from this side. We're gonna go from that side. We gotta angle grind it off. But uh, well, it's gonna look pretty good. Bear with me, it's gonna look. So this is how much we're gonna end up taking off, which is four inches for a total length of well, just a little over 24 and a half and that's going to put us perfectly in line with about right there and the fender is obviously going to stick out past because the fender sticks out about about right here so it's going to be perfect right there so let's get to cutting this thing
pretty sweet. But I think I'm gonna, so this fender's not gonna sit like that. It's gonna be more like that. But I think I have to chop some more off because it's sticking out a little bit too far. If you look at it, probably about, oh, another inch or two, inch and a half. Yeah, we'll do that. Look at that swath fella. So I think that'll ride. I had to use my old clamps because these clamps that it comes with, they suck. Where do they go? Oh, I don't know. They throw it away. Right here. They're too thin. And the problem with them is, is they just won't clamp that. Really close. Really close. But I think it'll be okay. If we blow a tire, that fender is gone. <laughs> Holy crap, look at that. Let me get that jack out of the way. All that room for activities. I still got to put the top flap on, obviously, and bend that back a little bit. That looks good. It's pretty close, but good. That works. Well, your second fender is modified. Post is on, cut down. These are aluminum, so they came off with the Sawzall. This is stainless, so you have to cut it off with the cutoff wheel. Now you gotta cut these little slits in here to be able to clamp the metal around when you put it in. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. So, y'all. Yeah. Get up in here. So our next step is to put this flapper on, which I think eventually I'll get something that says one of the Peterbilt ones. But you see the problem with these is how they're angled, they're dumb. So it put the mud flap like this, facing forward. We want that mud flap standing up straight. So we're gonna bend this little lip back. And the way I do it is I take something flat, like these quad tire spoons, put one here, put one there, and then I vice grip it, and then I just move it back with the with the vice grips. And it does a clean enough job. Like, I mean, you can kind of see a little ripples, but I can live with that. that those are those those are old that is a shiny hiney now brokers are gonna have to pay me a lot more to haul their crap right is that how that works is it gonna get better fuel mileage is that how that works no it's just better self-satisfaction looking good I got a panel for that, and I got some uh, blinker bars, but I don't know if I'm going to put them on. I kind of like the look. I might, I'll probably put the center panel on, but I'm not sure about the um, blinker bars, like the ones that Alice's truck has, and I guess, what are we calling it now? High maintenance, and my truck fancied. Kind of like the look without it. The panel might will look good down there, though. All right, see how them fenders turned out. Look at that, so close, won't be throwing chains anymore. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Ooh. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. You see the drip, yeah, I fit it up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. I've been on the flex since flex.